What you guys, I hope you enjoy the Easter holidays. Got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's a French police one, and uh, it's not the French police, as you know, it's uh, cyber criminals trying to scam you out of your money. Now, as you can see, they're demanding 200 euros to free you from this ransom. Now, please don't hold people to ransom like that. This is just cyber criminals trying to rip people off, and it is fake, and I will show you how to remove it. Um, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample. Because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. So without further ado, let's get on and remove this ransom. Okay, so if you try to go to Safe Mobile Networking, you'll find that it runs there as well. Okay, so as you can see, pretty much was scuppered there we can't use that method so let's reboot the system and try a safe mobile command prompt so we're in the advanced boot options again we're going to come down to safe mobile command prompt here and let this load up now this does take a bit of time with this uh, ransom on the system it slows it up a bit Okay, so we're at the uh, safe mobile command prompt here, and we've got a couple of options open to us here. We can actually edit the registry if we wanted to from here and make some registry edits. That gives us an option to do things there. We can also um, enter the system restore points if we had system restore, and maybe go back a couple of days if you wanted to. A bit risky in my opinion, but people say that you can do it. So what you can do here is type st uh, rst rui and then .exe and this will open up your system restore uh, panel. I haven't got no system restore points on here so I'm not going to be using that method. Okay, Another thing you can do is type explorer.exe and this is going to allow us to open up our computer to actually surf around it and find the actual file now I know the file was on my desktop and that's the culprit there but you cannot you can't run programs like hitman pro here because you do need the internet access and you don't have it in command prompt um, but it does allow you to put files onto USB drives from another computer plug it in and actually access those files and uh, run them now you can also run programs inside here as well which is in uh, malware bytes here I could actually run Malwarebytes from this location if I have it installed that is okay now if I do have it installed that means I can run it and that means we'll be able to remove it now as long as you're pretty much up to date you should see it find the actual um, ransom itself should be free files there and that's the free files I'll quickly stop this and show you As you can see, we found uh, explorer.exe that's been corrupted, and also um, it's the win logon registry that's been affected, and also there's the file that was on the desktop that was uh, the infection. Okay, so that's one way of going about it. Now, what happens if you can't get into Save Mobile Command Prompt? Well, I'm going to show you another way. So, let's reboot the system, and uh, you can use live CDs. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, shut down the system. okay so we're going to push any key on the keyboard and we're going to be using Norton bootable recovery tool here but you can use Kaspersky's rescue CD Windows unlocker or you can use Microsoft standalone system sweeper they all remove this uh, ransom from the system now I'd like uh, Kaspersky's rescue CD dot webs um, live CD as well should be able to remove it okay so now we need to put in our pin key so if you have got Norton you should know what your pin key is but if not I'm going to be using all the X's here and agree to that and what we want to go for here is Norton Advanced uh, 
recovery scan. Now what that's going to do is it um, removes files that are so infected off the system that the system won't boot so it will try and remove them. Now I've had uh, some good success with this program and I've also had some bad uh, results from it where it hasn't done it. So pretty much I can't just say that's Norton on its own. There is other programs that do that. Um, Kaspersky's had the same issues. So we're going to give this a go. And what we want to do here is click on scan. And that's going to update the actual uh, product uh, protection definition. So if you look down the bottom here, when I first built this CD, this ISO image, it was the 23rd of March 2012. It's now going to update these and then run that. So it's always good to keep this up to date if you can, as best as you can. And that way it saves all the updating. Okay, so that's now saying the definitions are up to date and it's now starting to scan. And as you can see, it's uh, give us an 8th of April now, 2012. Just let that scan in finish. And as you can see, it's found one already. Okay, so that's the actual scan now finished. So let's have a look at um, what it's detected. It says it's found two and it's resolved those issues. So let's click on here. And as you can see, um, it's found on the desktop the infection file the explorer.exe that uh, Malwarebytes said it was incorrupted and this has found it also and it's fixed that um, win logon area shell as you can see so it's fixed all those areas and it's found something else in the downloads folder on this one here again this is in the downloads folder which is just another so don't take much notice of this one but it's mainly the first one really which is the actual ransom itself okay so what we're going to do here is reboot the system and see how it goes Okay, as you can see, we're back at the desktop, back up to normal, which is a good thing. Now, again, you could run some other scans just to make sure the system's clean. I'd advise you to run um, TDSS Killer, also Hitman Pro, and run a full scan with malware bytes. Run these three programs as well, just to make sure you've got nothing else on the system. I mean, but if it is that um, ransom itself, it's all gone. Uh, now so you wouldn't have to worry but I would definitely still run some other scans just to make sure okay so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys please remember hit that subscribe button and show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos for you in the future so thanks again for watching bye for now